Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris D from PC Addicts. The scenario on this one is um, we are at a school district here, which what I want to do, since I've been working at this school district, I have noticed that a lot of the client computers are not standardized with their administrator password, their local administrator password. Okay, so like let's say it's not connected to the domain or you're having a problem trying to log into the domain, you want to log in locally as an administrator. Some of the computers don't have a password on the on the administrator account. Some of them, the administrator account uh, has a password of who knows what and whatnot. So what I want to do is centrally via a group policy preference, uh, GPO, I want to set the local admin password amongst the hundreds of computers that are in this school district all at once, or at least the next time the group policy uh, preferences or group policy refreshes. So what we have here is I'm on the server and I am currently remoted in doing some work on a teacher computer. All right. Set. So now on this computer here, what I want to do is let's test out the local administrator password first because I want you to see that this is actually going to work. So if we go to start and we do run, we do CMD and let's go ahead. What I want to do is run a command prompt as the local administrator. And the way I'll do this, let's bring up the on-screen keyboard. Let's see, where is it at? Here it is. All right. So we have the on-screen keyboard. What I want to do, let's, let me show you that this is working here. I'm going to do a run as, R-U-N-A-S space forward slash user, let's see, colon, oh crap, how do we do a colon here? There we go. Um, and then I'm just going to do it without the domain account. Admin, sorry for the slowness. Administrator. There we go. And space CMD. So basically, we're just, I just want to launch a command prompt as the local administrator. So we hit enter. It's going to prompt us for a password. There it is. And now it's not going to show the password, obviously, but you'll see me here typing it. Now I know the password for the locally. I set it here for the local administrator account and it is Beavis. So I'm going to type B E A V I S and hit enter. Boom. We have command prompt running as administrator. Okay. So now let's get off this end user computer. Let's bring up server manager and let's create a new group, group policy. I'm going to create it under domain computers. I'm going to call this, um, local Look, oh man, I can't delete. I can't backspace. So I better type right. Local. Ah, see? Under pressure. Administrator password reset. I know what that means. Anybody else that comes into the environment, if I no longer work here, should know what that means. Local administrator password reset. So let's configure this thing. Right click it, go to edit. We are going to go, it's a computer configuration, and it's under the new group policy preferences section so if we go into preferences expand control panel under local users we're going to right click and go to new local user now it, the action is update so the all the computers do have an administrator account and so I just type in administrator and I'm going to put in a new password let's call it um, I know what it is. I'm going to go ahead and just create it, whatever, and then I'll change it because for security purposes and confidentiality, I don't want to put the actual password in here. Duh, right? So I'm just going to put um, the password as pass123, pass123. I don't want the user to force them to change it. Um, the account never expires. And for now, um, eventually I will put user cannot change password just in case. So I'll hit apply. Okay. So now we got the new policy in place under the domain computer, so all the computers underneath that. I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. Let's go back to that computer. Let's do a GP update. Uh, let me exit that. And we'll just start fresh. Oops. So we'll go ahead and bring up command prompt. Let's do a GP update real quick. Let's refresh these policies. All right, it's now done. So now let's just go ahead and try it. Let's do a run as user oops administrator cmd let's hit enter let's put in our new password p a s s one two three hit enter there it is 
policy took place. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove that real quick because I don't want the other computers to get that at the moment. I will, oops, I will be changing it though. But for now, let's go ahead and just delete it off of this OU. And I will just reconfigure that when I'm done with this video. But anyways, so to summarize real quick, we just created a group policy and we dumped it in the domain computers because all my computers on this domain are under this OU somewhere, right? We basically just said, hey, update the local administrator password to be the new password. Easy as that.